back to bio school hope you all are doing well have you ever wondered how early mammalian development differs from others what is the mechanism of compaction what are the factors responsible for the development of inner shell mass and the trophoblast if you want to know more about it then please do watch my video till the end at the end i am going to solve some previous year csr question related to this topic so the compaction is the most crucial difference between mammalian cleaves with all others then what is compaction you know the compact means the tightly packed so the compaction is the process of transformation of the embryo from loose cluster of spherical cells into tightly packed mass is known as the compaction so now we are going to see how the compaction takes place and what are the factors responsible for the compaction we know immediately after the fertilization what happens the zygote undergoes the process that is known as the cleavage and it will be divided into two cell stages then four cell stages then again eight cell stages up to the eight cell stages the blastomeres are loosely arranged okay up to the eight cell stages the blastomeres are loosely arranged but following the eight cell stages or the following the third cleavage what will happen the blastomere it expresses a cell adhesion molecule Okay, and that cell adhesion molecule is known as the E cadherin. Then, what is the function of cell adhesion molecule? The function of cell adhesion molecule is to adhere the cell to each other. Okay, so here in the diagram, you can see the cells are adhered to each other and form a compact ball of cells. This tightly packed arrangement is established by tight junction at the outside of the cell. Okay. but inside the cells are connected with each other by gap junction and through the gap junction they can exchange the ions and different type of molecule among themselves after that what will happen the compacted eight cell embryo then it divided and produced the 16 cell stage that is called as the morula okay here it is the morula then after formation of the morula then it will be transformed into the blastocyst how the morula it transformed into blastocyst and how the blastocyst is formed we are going to discuss it shortly okay so the morula after the formation of the morula it consists of a small group of the internal cells which are surrounded by a group of external cells the internal cells are called as the inner cell mass or icm okay and what is the function of inner cell mass this inner cell mass it will give rise to the embryo okay and the external cells of the morula are called as the trophoblast cells and the trophoblast cell it will form the tissues of chorion that is the portion of the placenta okay but after the 64 cell stage then what will happen the inner cell mass and the trophoblast cell they become a separate layers okay and neither contributing the cells to the each other the one of the important point is that the earliest blastomere that is up to the eight cell embryo are totipotent totipotent means they are capable of formation of everything like the early blastomere cells they can form the inner cell mass they can form the trophoblast cells so early blastomeres are the totipotent you have to memorize it Okay. but when the inner cell mass formed this inner cell mass are the pluripotent they are capable of many things but they can't form everything okay like inner cell mass they, they are no longer able to form the trophoblast okay so what are the key points the first one is the morula consists of group of internal cells surrounded by a group of external cells the internal cells are called as the inner cell mass and the external cells are called as the trophoblast cells inner cell mass it gives rise to a complete embryo whereas the trophoblast cell forms the chorion of placenta earlier blastomere that is up to the eight cell stages are totipotent means they are capable of forming everything but when the inner cellular mass forms the inner cellular mass are the pluripotent okay because they are no longer capable of formation on the trophoblast so 
now the question is which cell will become the trophoblast and which cell will become the inner cell mass we know that the prior to the blastocyst formation the early embryonic blastomeres they are the early embryonic blastomeres are totipotent means they can form either the trophoblast cell or the icm so they express both the cdx2 and opt for transcription factors okay once the decision to become either trophoblast or inner cell is made the cell express different genes okay so here are the important point the trophoblast cells or the cell which are becoming the trophoblast they will express the transcription factor that is the cdx2 okay the trophoblast it will express cdx2 and the inner cell mass it will express the transcription factors oct4 nano g and stat3 okay you have to remember the which factors are expressed in the trophoblast cell and which factors are expressed in the inner cell mass the trophoblast or the cell which are becoming the trophoblast they will express cdx2 whereas those cell which are becoming the inner cell mass they will express oct4 nano g and stat3 okay so here in the diagram just focus on that so here in the diagram this one is the oct4 oct4 it promote the morula to become the icm okay and on the other hand it inhibit the morula to become the trophoblast so oct4 it stimulate the morula cells to become the inner cell mass and then now the nano g nano g is the another factor which is expressed in the inner cellular mass what is the function of nano g nano g stimulate inner cellular mass to become the epiblast and inhibit the icm to become the hypoblast okay then the stat3 is probably involved in the self renewal of inner cellular mass and the cdx2 okay the cdx2 it is expressed in the trophoblast cell and it inhibit the oct4 and nano g and it will stabilize the trophoblast lineage okay so the first point is oct4 it stimulate morula to become inner cellular mass and inhibit to become the trophoblast the second point is nano g it promote the inner cellular mass to become epiblast and inhibit to become hypoblast and the third point is the start 3 start 3 it will help in the self renewal of icm and cdx2 by inhibiting opt4 nano g it stabilize the trophoblast lineage okay this is very important in view of csir net so you have to memorize it okay now the question is we know that the outer cells they express the cdx2 that's why they become the trophoblast so how the outer cells they express the cdx2 okay the cdx2 gene expression in outer cell is regulated by a protein that protein is called as the yap protein okay and this yap protein it is a cofactor for another transcription factor that is the tad4 okay so when the tad4 active it promote the transcription of cdx2 gene okay so the insert the outer cell it express the cdx2 gene because of the yap protein and yap protein it act as a cofactor for tad4 so this is the signaling pathway what will happen this one is the outer shell this one is the outer shell the embryo sends the signal and that signal it will block the hippo pathway okay it will block the hippo pathway so once the hippo pathway is blocked then it cannot activate the lats protein it cannot activate the lats protein in the absence of the functional latch 
what will happen this one is the this orange color is the yak protein which one is the cofactor for transcription factor trade 4 yak protein now it will bind to the trade 4 and it will help in the expression of cdx2 okay so the outer shell express the cdx2 and that becomes the trophoblast in the inner shell what happens the hypoprotein it will activate the lars okay so the lars protein it will phosphorylate the yap protein once the yap protein phosphorylated they are degraded as the yap protein get degraded it cannot bind to the trade 4 and we know that the yap protein it is the cofactor for trade 4 so in the absence of the yap protein the trade 4 cannot activate the cdx2 in inner cell okay so the inner cell cannot express the cdx2 now comes to the cavitation what is cavitation this is the morula and morula it does not have any internal cavity then by the process of the cavitation cavitation is the process where the trophoblast cells secrete fluid into the morula the membrane of trophoblast cell contain sodium pumps that pumps the sodium ion into the central cavity okay the subsequent accumulation of the sodium ion draws water osmotically and thus creating a enlarging blastocyst okay so how the blastocyst is formed because of the process of cavitation what is the cavitation cavitation is the process by which the trophoblast cell trophoblast cell that contains the sodium pump in the membrane that pumps the sodium ion into the central cavity and subsequent accumulation of sodium ion draws water osmotically that create enlarging blastocyst as the blastocyst expands then what happens the inner cellular mass position on one side of the ring and resulting in the type of blastula which is called the blastocyst now comes to the previous year csi ugc net question following statement were given regarding the decision taken during development of mammalian embryo okay what is the option p the pluripotency of inner cell mass is maintained by a core of three transcription factors oct4 SOX2 and nano G. Okay. We know that the pluripotency of the ICM it is maintained by the factors OCT4, SOX2, nano G as well as the STAR3. Okay. So this one is the correct one. Prior to blastocyst formation, each blastomere express CDX2 and OCT4 transcription factors and appears to be capable of becoming either ICM or trophoblast. Yes, the earlier blastomeres are the totipotent and they express both CDX2 and OCT4. So, this one is also the correct option. The R. Both ICM and trophoblast cell synthesize transcription factor CDX2. No, only the trophoblast cells they secrete the CDX2. So, this one is wrong. OCT4 activates cdx2 expression oct4 it inhibit the cdx2 expression so this one is also wrong so which of the above statement are true the above statement true are option p and option q so the option a is the correct answer for this question the next question the pluripotency of inner cell mass in mammals is maintained by core of three transcription factors. Okay. What are the factors that are maintained the pluripotency of inner cell mass? The pluripotency is maintained by the three genes that are OCT4. Okay. I just forgot to mention earlier that SOX2 gene is also help in maintaining the pluripotency of inner cell mass so the first are the oct4 sos2 and nano g are responsible for maintaining the inner cell mass pluripotency that the option a is the 
correct one let's see option b in the option b you see there is a cdx2 we know that the cdx2 that is for the trophoblast not icm so this one is wrong option c it has also the cdx2 cdx2 that is for trophoblast option d it is also the cdx2 so the correct answer is option a and this question the decision to become either trophoblast or inner cell mass blastomere is one of the first decision taken by the mammalian embryo below is the diagrammatic representation of the different cells formed during development from marula with the help of different molecules identify the molecules 1 to 4 sequentially 1 to 4 sequentially this is the marula and trophoblast what will be the option we know that the trophoblast it will express the cdx2 it will be the cdx2 and uh, the 2 is the oct4 because the oct4 it will it will be the oct oct4 because we know the oct4 it promotes the marula to become the inner cell mass and it inhibit the trophoblast so the 2 is the oct4 then 3 is the nano g the nano g nano g it uh, help the inner cell mass to become the epiblast and it prevent the hypoblast and the oct4 which transcription factors help in the self renewal of icm that is the start 3 start 3 so one is cdx2 two is oct4 three is nano g and fourth is star 3 so the option a is the correct answer if you find this video useful and that will help you in solving the question related to early mammalian development then please do like share and subscribe my channel and my upcoming video it will be on cell commitment and specification please stay tuned bye bye see you in my next video Thank you.